your brain is shrinking at an alarming rate and at a much younger age than you might imagine. I'll explain why your brain is getting smaller and what you can do about it before it's too late. Hi, I'm neuroscientist Dr. Ben Webb and I want to help you cultivate a healthy brain for a mentally healthy and happy life. Welcome to episode 50 of Better Brain, Better You. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great week and really delighted to spend time with you on today's episode. If you're watching on YouTube, please do like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to hear when we release new videos. And thanks so much for listening into the podcast on your favourite podcast platform, whether that's Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Great to have you with us. We release weekly episodes for brains of all ages. So your brain determines every aspect of your life, your thoughts, emotions, movement and memory, and your brain works tirelessly for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So keeping your brain healthy and sharp is essential to your well-being. And just as you can protect other areas of your health, you can take steps to keep your brain healthy, preserve your memory, and lower your risk for brain diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and stroke. And to help you optimise your brain health, I've put together a guide that shows you the six simple steps that you can take right now to help keep your brain healthy. You can get this free guide at ologyonlinecourses.com slash brain health. That's ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash brain health. Go ahead and download it. It's completely free. and will help you get started optimising your brain health immediately. So your brain starts to shrink as early as your 30s. Even if you seem perfectly healthy, you may be losing as much as 0.4% of your brain or about several million brain cells every year. And the rate at which your brain gets smaller increases with age and is a major factor in early mental decline. And brain shrinkage doesn't happen to all areas of the brain at, at once. Some areas shrink more and faster than others. And brain shrinkage is likely to get more severe as you get older. And brains also shrink from the inside out, resulting in enlargement of fluid-filled ventricles or hollow spaces on the inside of your brain. And as your brain changes and shrinks, you actually may feel like it's affecting your mental function. So even healthy adults may experience memory problems, challenges with communication, trouble recalling words or vocabulary difficulties, learning something new, increased inflammation with injury or disease, slowdowns caused by decreased communication between nerve cells in the brain, decreased blood flow in the brain as well. And like so many of these symptoms of ageing, brain shrinkage was long thought to be simply, to simply be an an inevitable consequence of growing older. Even though brain shrinkage is progressive, A growing number of studies are actually showing that brain shrinkage that can lead to brain diseases like stroke and dementia are by no means inevitable. And a host of conditions from cardiovascular disease and diabetes to sleep and anxiety disorders to lifestyle choices have all been associated with brain shrinkage. And since many of these are reversible or at least preventable, it's important to understand their impact on brain shrinkage cognition and your life and health span. So although we don't often hear about this, there's a strong connection between cardiovascular disease and brain shrinkage. So when plaque builds up inside your arteries and restricts blood flow throughout the body, not only does it have a negative effect on your heart, its effect on your brain can be equally devastating. So when blood flow to the brain is restricted, your brain receives less oxygen and fewer nutrients, causing it to shrink. And studies show that people with lower levels of blood flow to their brain have smaller brains, thinner cortex, that's the active surface layer of the brain, resulting in poorer mental function. And there's also a strong connection between diabetes and brain shrinkage. So diabetes is notorious for causing problems with 
the peripheral nervous system, leading to condition, conditions such as painful diabetic neuropathy and blindness-inducing diabetic retinopathy. But high blood sugar levels cause shrinkage of the brain through inflammation and the degeneration of brain cells. So diabetics have a small hippocampus. That's the part of the brain involved in learning and forming new memories. And a reduction in whole brain volume, so the whole size of the brain, doubling their risk of mild cognitive impairment. And many people with diabetes have brain changes that are the hallmarks of both Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. In fact, the symptoms of Alzheimer's are so similar to type 2 diabetes, this brain condition has actually been relabeled type 3 diabetes. But like diabetes, obesity is a known cause of brain atrophy, brain shrinkage. Even in people with normal cognition, higher body mass index, which is used as a measure of, of obesity, is associated with lower brain size in obese, overweight people. Indeed, research has shown that there's a link between the size of your belly and the size of your brain. People who have a high waist-to-hip ratio actually have smaller brains compared with people who have a healthy weight. So obesity and diabetes share many similar mechanisms, including insulin resistance and oxidative stress, both of which are known to contribute to brain shrinkage. So sleep disruptions and anxiety also contribute to a loss of brain volume. Relatively healthy older adults who sleep, who get fewer hours sleep, have smaller brains than people who sleep for longer. So for every hour of reduced sleep duration, they can experience yearly reductions in the size of their brain and decrease in their mental performance. And similar increases in brain shrinkage are associated with decreased quality of sleep as well. So poor sleep and anxiety, of course, are related. And one study has shown that middle-aged women who have long-standing psychological distress have double the risk of brain shrinkage in parts of the brain where memories are stored. And smoking and chronic alcohol consumption also have, have long been recognised as a cause of brain shrinkage. So a history of smoking, even if you currently don't smoke, is associated with faster brain shrinkage in multiple brain regions compared with people who have never smoked. And alcohol consumption changes the size of your brain in a dose-dependent way. So while actually light to moderate drinkers actually have larger brains than non-drinkers, heavy drinkers are 80% more likely than non-drinkers to sustain frontal lobe shrinkage compared with non-drinkers and about a third more likely to have brain shrinkage from inside out. So even though the array of factors that can cause brain shrinkage can be daunting, there's good news. Since brain shrinkage results from the same basic processes that cause other symptoms of ageing, brain shrinkage can be prevented or at the very least slowed down to arrest mental decline. So to stop your brain from shrinking, you can adopt a brain healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle can keep dementia at bay. And crucially, it's never too late or too early to start looking after your brain health and even small changes could make a big difference. In fact, we should really be taking care of our brain health just as we would our physical health for our entire life, ideally starting as early as our teenage years. So there are 12 risk factors for poor brain health, which if eliminated from your life could reduce your dementia risk by 40%. So adopting healthy habits like exercising regularly, stopping smoking, drinking alcohol in moderation and eating, a brain healthy, eating brain healthy foods will really reduce your risk of developing dementia. And bugs that live in your gut play a crucial role in communication between your gut and your brain. And fermented foods and probiotic supplements provide the most beneficial bacteria for your gut and your brain health. So a balanced diet is fundamental to brain health. The right foods don't just fuel your brain cells, they also boost the flow of blood, oxygen and nutrients to the brain and reduce potentially harmful inflammation. So sleep is also fundamental to good brain health, 
try to get seven to nine hours sleep each night and go to bed and wake at the same time to maintain a, reg- to maintain a regular sleep wake cycle. And to maintain and improve brain health, try and do regular organized or purposeful exercise and try to be active in your day to day life. And keep your mind active by being curious and learning new things will also help you to main your, help you maintain your mental fitness and protect your brain against mental decline. So to help you optimize your brain health, I've put together a guide that shows you six simple steps that you can take right now to help keep your brain healthy. So your brain is you. So start taking care of you and your well-being now. You can get this free guide at ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash brain health. That's ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash brain health. Go ahead and download this guide. It's completely free and it'll help you to start improving your brain health immediately. And thanks so much for tuning in today on brain shrinkage and the benefits of good brain health. And I will look forward to seeing you next time.